We're back with Power Boating in Paradise TV as we feature highlights from the Key West Poker Run. We rejoin our Poker Run teams here at Boca Grand Key as they take part in the Saturday Fun Run. George Boyd is from Ontario, Canada. He recently traded his Nortec Cat for this 42-foot statement powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. This boat features Statement's patented air ride cockpit. There's a special award on the Key West Poker Run for the most outrageous boat, and it was a hands-down win for Jim Leonardo from New York with his 115-foot Baglietto Super Yacht. This is gonna be one tough award to beat in future poker runs. We finally caught up with Team Windship. This impressive 48 MTI is powered by turbocharged Mercury Racing 1350s, and it's my bet that John Woodruff has put more hours on these 1350s than any other pair out there. Here's Nick Buis from the Statement Factory with their factory poker run team in their all new 37 foot SUV. It's a striking departure from their 42 Ultimate and their 50 foot Passion Cat. Here's Brad Schoenwald from Powerboat Nation in his 38 foot cigarette Top Gun. Viewers take note, they're all wearing their life jackets. Here's Mark and Eileen Fisher in their 36 Deep Impact powered by triple Yamaha 350s. This may be the last time you see this boat. It went to the Miami Boat Show earlier this year and found a new home. Scott Conrad from Nortec brought out this new 34 center console model to Key West and had it on display at the Poker Run Sponsor Dock. The 34 and the 39 center consoles are a big part of the new Nortec lineup. Here's Jeff and Jennifer Corbell from Illinois in their 39 outer limits. It's got triple 525s, which would make it a reliable poker run platform with speeds well over 100 miles per hour. Anton Holstrom from South Carolina got bit by the bug on this event two years ago, and he's never looked back. Since then, he and his sister Deb have done dozens of poker runs on this 42 cigarette. Here's Mark Palanchin, who actually did the poker run on an 85-foot motor yacht, but he's got to get his high-speed kicks in, so he got some time on this race rig power play named Team X Muscle. Michael and Keith Merritt are two brothers from Ohio who are passionate about this sport. They left their 48 Fountain Express Cruiser back at the dock so they could put the 45 cigarette through the paces on this thrilling ride to Boca Grande. This aerial shot pretty much sums up what a beautiful day it was here at Boca Grande for hundreds of Key West Poker Run attendees. With more than 100 power boats on the beach and a handful of luxurious yachts anchored nearby, there's no doubt this was the number one place to be in the USA. After a great day in the water, the only way to cap off a perfect Saturday is with a big poker run bash, and the Conk Republic Seafood Company was ready for action. With a dazzling display of colorful power boats, underwater lights, and impressive poker run village displays, as our backdrop, close to 700 poker run guests attended this big celebration. With the bright light towers that we've been bringing into the Poker Run Village in recent years, there's something about these nighttime displays that just makes these boats look incredible. I'd like to commend all of the exhibitors who put on great displays this year uh, and remind everybody that the 2013 Poker Run Village is even going to be more impressive. The excitement began as dozens of Poker Run teams began to receive the coveted People's Choice Awards, including awards like Best Catamaran, Best Fee Bottom, Best Paint and Graphics, and of course the crowd favorite, the Sexiest Crew Award, which is always the toughest one to choose. Curtin Juju Vincent won for the best dressed team. Here's George and Shannon Argerus from Team Donzilla. Scott Greger accepted on behalf of Conk Republic. Special thanks to John Woodruff for his helicopter support. Bob Teague and Glenn Kennedy accepted best paint and graphics. Carrie Leon for farthest toad. And our second sexiest team went to Champagne Statement. Team Nortec won for best poker run boat. Randy Kent took home some prizes, and so did Team Metamarine from Italy. So who's winning the poker run? Third place went to Jeff Del Rosso from Miami. Second place went to John O'Laughlin from New York. And our grand prize went to Eric Glazer from Team Midnight Express, who took home the grand prize Ford Mustang, courtesy of OffLeaseOnly.com. As this episode of Power Boating in Paradise airs on Sun Sports and reaches our viewers at home, Florida Powerboat Club will be staging the 12th annual Jacksonville River Rally Poker Run. I'd like to first welcome Visit Jacksonville for coming on board as a show advertiser and invite all boaters to join us for this exciting event staged on the scenic and protected waters of the St. John's River. 
This Poker Run is ideal for runabouts and cruisers, too, so you don't have to have a big high-performance boat to join in on the fun. So come on out and see the beautiful power boats or sign up for the Poker Run by calling the FPC office or visiting us online at flpowerboat.com. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching, and we invite all of our viewers to check in and tell us you're enjoying the show. Send your emails to me personally, and we hope to see you on the next episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV.